going on guys welcome back to another video so today's video i want to answer a couple questions that you guys have asked me and i try to answer all these questions for you guys in videos because it's easier and i can you know let everybody know and you can watch this one video and find out but i get you guys asking me all the time questions about the cover right there that revolver i don't know if you guys can see that's covered up with everything so you guys always ask me eddie is this cover the uh revolver you know how waterproof are they because a lot of you guys tell me you guys want to cover but you guys want it to pretty much be almost waterproof now i can't say you know every single one of these covers are going to be 100 percent waterproof and i just drove my truck in the rain yesterday and today and i mean clearly i just got back right now you can see the truck is soaked water everywhere i mean look at these poor lights so look at this thing this thing is getting dirty guys I mean, look at that. What the? Oh, my goodness. Oh, look. Here's even worse. Look at this part. Oh, my. Look at that. Now, if that's not dirty, I mean, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know what is. I mean, look, you can see here. There's dirt building up. I got to say, the old Dirty Max, uh, she's getting dirty. She's putting some work, you know. I'm putting some miles on her. I don't know if these covers, you know, or what brand cover out there is 100% waterproof. But I drove, I've been driving this truck in the rain. Uh, the pad. This is the second day, day number two, and I have not opened the back yet. So I'm gonna open the back and see, you know, how much water got built up, if any went in there. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a little bit. I haven't seen the cover that's 100% just perfect, perfect. You know, no water in there. I let it yesterday, you know, sit in the rain for like five hours. Uh, today I let it sit in the rain for about an hour, and then started driving it also in the rain. And I was just curious to see because you guys asked me the question. I don't really have the answer to it, but. Let's see, you know, how waterproof this cover really is. And if you do store something back there, is it going to stay protected and, you know, stay dry? Because that's the main thing. These people purchase these covers to, you know, put stuff back there, lock it, not have to worry about it, don't have to take it out, and also protect it from weather. You know, if you're going, I don't know, to the snow or, or, or Big Bear Lake Tahoe or wherever, and it's snowing, it's raining, you know, where else are you gonna put your luggage in a truck? Well, if you put it in the back and there's no cover, your stuff's gonna get soaked or snowed on, you know? So that's why to me, these covers, I mean, I love these covers. I think these covers are worth every penny. And yes, there are some uh, better covers out there. There's one I found by Backflip. It was an electric cover with a remote. So you literally need to get some in the back that you have a remote control and you just push the button and it retracts automatically for you. Um, as you guys know, in my situation, I really can't get those because I have my gas tank and toolbox in the back. So I need a cover that does not take up any bed space at all whatsoever. And that's why I choose the revolver cover because it rolls all the way up and does not lose any bed space. And yes, I have also had you guys comment, you know, all the time in my videos, Eddie, what are you gonna do now that Big Lou's taller than you? Uh, you know, the Accolator's taller than you? Well, I got something for them and uh, it has nothing to do with my truck. It's a completely different truck. It's probably not going to be a daily driver. You can maybe drive it daily, I'm not sure. Um, I'm looking for one, I found a couple of them, but uh, I have not found the motor. That, so in this specific truck that I wanna purchase, there are two different kind of motors. And the only hint that I will give you guys right now is it's got a 14 liter uh, Cummins in it. And you'll see it, it it's, it's, to me it's pretty badass. It's going to be pretty, you know, like this truck, nice paint and all this stuff. Um, no, you know, it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be mainly for, uh, well, I don't know, just running stuff over, pulling things out. I haven't really figured out what I want to do with this truck, but it's going to be way bigger than the Alkalate Mobile, way bigger than Big Lou's. Um, it's going to be a big boy. It's going to be bigger than D-Max Rhinos. It's going to be a big, big truck. And um, I can't wait till I find one. They're not too bad either, price-wise. I'm just looking for the right motor, a transmission combo, and a good, you know, clean one uh, to purchase. And where am I gonna store it? Yes, I believe it's going to fit here. I have not measured uh, how tall uh, this specific truck is going to be, but I am sure uh, it is 14 feet from here to here, so inside is 16 feet, so I'm sure it will fit in this door because I'm gonna park it probably right here, or I might just leave it outside until I build my other garage over there. I have not decided yet, but um, I'm not gonna tell you guys what kind yet because I haven't, I haven't found it yet and I might change, there's a couple of them that I'm looking at, but it is not going to be a GMC, a Ford, or a Dodge. 
and I'm, I'm sure you guys are thinking I'm going to get a Dodge. Yes, I did see the new Dodge. Yes, it is beautiful. It's got, I think it said now 400 horsepower and 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. They updated the ice and tranny and updated the 68 RFE transmission, and it's supposed to be a badass truck. The interior is amazing on it. If you guys have not checked that Dodge out, I will go check that Ram out. It is a good-looking truck. I will admit that. Uh, am I going to purchase the new one? Probably not. I know a lot of you guys ask me, Eddie, you talk so highly of the Ram, but yet you drive a GMC. Why is that? Well, I love the Ram. Uh, the Ram is, is a you know beautiful truck, great motor, great, great motor. Uh, my fear, and like I've told you guys this before, is that transmission. I just don't trust the transmissions yet on the Rams. I, you know, I've got a buddy, he's got 30,000 miles, he blew out third gear. I got another buddy, he had 60,000 miles, he blew the tranny on it. Uh, yes, they were 17s and 16s, but it's stuff like that. You know, I, I don't want to deal with that. And I'm not saying their transmissions are bad, they're just reputation for their transmissions are not good. So that's why I'm just, I haven't purchased the Ram and I'm worried about the Ram. Also, I love the look of the Denali and I love GM and I've loved the Allison transmission. I've never had any problem with any of the Chevy or GM trucks that I've owned. So that's why I've stuck with GM. Now, let's see how much water has gotten in here. Now, when you guys do purchase this, this cover will come with a bunch of foam to put around, you know, the whole truck. According to the directions, that foam is only used if you guys do not have these lips on here. So if you notice some trucks, it's just paint. Well, according to the directions, if it is just paint, you don't have you know this uh, little protector right here, this cap, you need to run the rubber. If you have this, you do not need to run the rubber. So as you guys see, I don't run any of the rubber. This comes with it, obviously. This little piece of rubber, I just can't put right here so water does not get in because there was a little gap right there. Uh, other than that, this is just the rail. And I'll show you guys what the rail uh, look like. The rails are just regular uh, rails that go on, hook onto the truck. And these are the seals right here. So this part seals on that uh, black part. And this is the inside part where the track rides on right here. But the only thing that's really sealing uh, from the truck to the cover is this little seal right here. That's it. Now for the back, the back part, this is it. There's a little rubber piece right in here that when you close it, this uh, sits on it, so it's a tight fit. There is a little gap right here. You guys see I put a little piece of rubber in there so not too much water can get in there, uh, but there is a little gap there. And you also have, okay, it looks like there is a gap right here. My piece of rubber is gone. So I usually put a piece of rubber also right here to shut this little uh, hole that's right here. But other than that, well, uh, let's see how good this cover did with all that rain. Here we go. Okay, well, uh, looks like got some uh, water here. Damn, I got to say I am... Uh, I've had this cover for about three years, and I'm very impressed because I've never had this thing in the rain. And, uh, well, I gotta say, that's pretty damn good. Couple drops here, couple drops here, a little bit right here, I don't know, is it wet? It's not, uh, it's not wet. This drop, yeah, it's not wet, so I'm not sure, uh, not sure where that little bit came from, but it looks like it is pretty uh, damn dry in there, guys. I mean, I'll uh, open this up and give you a better look. And yeah, that is my uh, new jack. I'll do a video on that. Thing's pretty badass. If you guys want a video, let me know. I'll show you that thing. It's a 20-ton um, air jack. It is a massive bottle jack that is extremely heavy. And here's the little rubber seal that I'm talking to you guys about. When you close the truck, it pinches right along there. So it gives it a tight seal. Now let's uh, open her up here and see... Uh, Oh, I mean, so you see in here, the rails, they're pretty damn dry. This is obviously the seal, also the other seal, so water doesn't go in it. Uh, other than that, guys, let's see, let's check the back in here. Oh, oh, we can't really see back here. Let's see if I can see this side. It is pretty damn dry. Yeah, there's, there's nothing in there. Is there water in here? Let's see. Let me check over here. No, it's dry. There's nothing. So, uh, well, I gotta say, guys, I gotta give it to this cover. Uh, the only thing really that's here is, oh, well, this, these couple drops up front, and that might have been when I just opened the tailgate. Other than that, that's about it. I, uh, 
I'm impressed. My tools are dry. Everything is safe. Here's old big girl right here. 20 ton. Right here, you just plug it in the air and start pumping away. But anybody that's from California, well, I mean, you guys know what happens when uh, California gets this much rain. It doesn't get good. And yeah, that's, that's my wood pile over there that uh, I got some got some good wood there for the desert and I don't want to get soaking wet all week except for a little tarp on it to try to keep uh, as much as I can covered and dry so well it burns good out in the desert so thank you guys for watching this video if you guys like this video don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to click subscribe peace yeah